listening to the Built to Grow podcast. All right. Welcome back to the Built to Grow podcast. I'm your host, Tim Lyons in studio, HQ Scottsdale, joined as always by Randy Angston. What's up, guy? Hello, friend. Hello. Good guy. day. Good day. Good day. So, uh, yeah, quick announcement for everybody. We have our, our growth summit. It's selling out quickly. If you're on the fence, jump in now, grab your ticket, and uh, we'll see you there. And if you haven't heard about the Grow Summit, it's uh, it's on May 21st and 22nd. We have an amazing uh, event lined up for everybody. Some great speakers. Just got the room layout today. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, it's growing to a point where I'm probably gonna have to put a little stage in there. And uh, got some cool sponsors who we will hit and talk about as as this gets closer, so you can know who's gonna be there. Uh, one of the things that, uh, our friend John told me, you know, about this event, he thought it might be a good idea. And I think we're going to do it is we, we basically got a survey from everybody. Mm -hmm. And as far as like, you know, not, not how much revenue you do, but like, who's going to be in the room, where are you from? What's the name of the gym? Um, you know, what kind of services do you offer? And that way, when you get there, you'll know ahead of time, like, Hey, this guy does sports performance. I love and this it. guy does nutrition really well. And this guy does... <clears throat> you know, semi-private training. And th these are the guys I want to see and talk to yeah, when like, I'm at the event. Like pre-facing the networking. Yeah, yeah. 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 And that way you kind of know who's in the room and who you can go talk to and go find and search out when you get there. And, and that's really the idea is that we, we network, we talk, we grow, we, we, we learn and, and, you know, help solve big problems. Exactly. I love it. Winninggym.com slash Scottsdale has all the details. Perfect. Okay. So go grab your ticket and uh, we'll see you at the event. But uh, this episode today, guys, we're going to talk a little bit about, I guess, going back to the foundation of your entire business with, uh, you know, having org charts, job descriptions, uh, and, you know, and, and, and it's pretty apparent that not many gyms have this in place. Yeah. There's, it's something that uh, a conversation or a topic that's come to mind with a lot of the calls I've been taking for coaching Sometimes, you know, the way that you do the small things is the way that you do the large. And in our coaching program, we start with some of the basic fundamentals of your business. And a lot of the gyms we talk to have them in place, but they couldn't tell you them offhand. They yeah. couldn't, you know, tell you the last time they looked at them or, you know, went over those things. And so if, if this is like the core of your business, the foundation of your business, and you can't even recite it. It's probably time to take another look at it. Yeah, take a look. And you can revise these at any time. We, yeah. We've done it several times over the years. Uh, but like you mentioned, in our in our coaching program, we have a whole video section on staffing and org charts. And I give you like five examples of organizational structures as you grow. It might be you. That might be you as the only person on the team in the beginning. And at the end, you've got, you know different departments and you've got, you know, who's responsible to who and, you know, like, um, oh gosh, what's that line? Direct reports, who's the direct report, who's indirect reports, who, who, like who's responsible for different portions of the business. Yep. And with some of our coaching clients, they've got giant teams. They've got multiple locations and we're, we're working with sub managers and fitness directors at each location and program managers, uh, overall. Uh, and so, how do you know really where you need to be in your business? Um, I, you know, I can't answer that, but I would tell you that, you know, if you're doing a million things and you can't really concentrate and grow the business, it's probably a good time to start looking at, you know, what are the things that have to get done yep. in your business? That's, I, that's, that would be the absolute very first step to this whole thing is, who trains the clients, who writes the programs, who answers the phone, who orders the, you know, smoothie supplies, who does the consultations, yep. like who's it, handling the marketing, who's handling the yeah. marketing, who does the accounting, uh, you know, janitorial in these, every gym has the same list of things, things that need, that need to, yes, need to, need to happen in order for the, the business to operate, right? You, you need somebody to train clients. Like that's at the core of your entire business. If you're a training gym, yeah. <laughs> You got to have that, right? So within that role, what are the things that they have to do every single day, every single month, every single week, quarter, year to do the job right? And these would be called, we call these job functions. The functions of the business are the things that need to be done to operate, okay? And if you just think about it all the way down to who answers the phone or or the phone needs to be answered, not necessarily who, but like the phone needs to be answered. When the phone rings... 
you, what do you just stare you just at stare, it? Yeah, exactly. And that's how granular you have to get with your operation because what you don't want to have happen, for example, <clears throat> if the phone rings, everybody looks at each other. Who's answering it? it that's exactly it. And in, in, in this conversation with like stressing the importance of this with mm-hmm. one of the calls I had, it was, it, I was like, guys, I get it. It's, it seems silly. I go, but if you don't have a process in place for it, there is no process in place for it. There is no baseline for measurement. There is no level of, of, success, accountability. accountability. How do I make this process better within our business? You know, I, I mentioned like a Starbucks or, or, you know, it doesn't take, it's not rocket science. Why businesses like that can succeed. Mm-hmm. They, it comes down to doing the simple things the same exact way every single time. Sure. Scalability. That was the reason that these, the, that this organization was on the call for it with us. They have the parts in place. They just don't know how to take it and scale it. Sure. Well, the problem is there was never two things that were consistent from experience to experience. So right there, and we could we could talk about why you can't scale is because your business isn't scalable. Perfect. There isn't. It is not repeatable. It's not duplicatable. It's there isn't a process in place. And I would tell you that most gym owners probably avoid this because it's boring. Look, it, it, yeah, it's boring stuff. And I avoided it for years. My my dad, when I first opened the business, he's like, you need a three ring binder with all of the processes and procedures of your business in one place. Like, uh, no, I'm not going to do that. And we're just going to, we're getting shit done, dad. Your we're SOPs? just getting it done. We're getting it done. And at the time I was doing just about everything. So it didn't really need to be written because it was in my head. But like, if you, but you're going to stay stuck right there. That's, that's the, the key to open up the scale scalability of your business is you got to get that on paper or on a video or on your computer. I mean, I really like, you know, click funnels, uh, membership backend as a training platform mm-hmm. for your, your internal staff. You know, this isn't fun. This isn't swinging kettlebells. This isn't, you know, making money, baby. It's, you know, boring processes, but when you have it in place and everybody understands it, pretty damn sexy when you can just sit back with your arms crossed in the corner and watch the magic happen in front of you in real time. Like picture yourself in the corner of your gym, places packed, phones ringing, clients are coming in and out, coaches are training and you got no stress and it's all happening and you know, it's handled that that's what this does. Having this in place. One of the things I, I love, and I think in, in the, the mindset portion of the coaching, I talk about how routine creates freedom. Mm-hmm. And it's because it takes all of the mundane stuff, right? And it just, it happens, right? It just goes into your subconscious. And now all of a sudden I've got this so much mental capacity to focus on the things I want to. That's true. It clears it, right? Exactly. It takes a BS right off the plate. And now it's just what yeah. I, what's important right in front of you. It's the same thing with business, right? Those processes start to happen. You're not, a problem happens. We've seen this a thousand times. We move into action. We go right into solution mode. Um, somebody walks through the door when everybody knows the roles and responsibilities, everything happens. It's that it's like the flow state, right? Things just happen the way that they're supposed to. Beautiful. That met that just that peace of mind for you as a gym owner, business owner, fitness director, whoever's watching these things happen, that alone has to be worth it. It is worth it. <laughs> like walking into your bathroom and it's just got cleaned. Like you didn't tell anybody to do it. It just happened. And you look like, man, if I was a client walking in here, it's going to look really great. Versus walking into your bathroom and there's paper towels on the floor. There's nobody flush the toilet. There's spots on the glass of the mirror. Mm-hmm. Like it's probably if you go in your bathrooms, you you have one of two things. It's either that way or the way I just said it. Right? It's either clean or not. And yeah. if it's not, whose responsibility is it? What's the schedule for it? Who's checking on it? Like the again, it, it's kind of weird to think about going all the way back to that point here because. This stuff was figured out 10 years ago and it's just carried through. But I can see if it wasn't there, how stressful your business could be. Well, and how much of that would fall on your shoulders if you didn't have that stuff there? Right. And to increase that or to like add emphasis to that, one of the first things that we work on is automate, delegate, and eliminate with gym owners because for some reason, you guys are just really good at trying to do it all. (laughs) And so you can't do it all. And so when we figure out the stuff that you shouldn't be doing, Peace of mind, right? Other people get those roles and responsibilities. The task still gets done. Mm -hmm. It's just by somebody else. And uh, then again, peace of mind or turn your your time and attention to other income producing areas where your time is better spent. But 
those functions need to happen and doesn't have to happen by you. It's a great point. And if you don't have this stuff, this is a good opportunity for you to take a look and say, man, I need to get on a call with Randy at pfmarketingsolutions.com slash call. We'll walk you through our coaching program because we know you don't have this stuff in place. That's why we built the damn coaching program to, to, to help you win. And by helping you win, if it means having that in place, that's the foundation built to grow, right? That's the entire, your whole foundation of your whole business starts with the little things. I think you open it. The, the way you do the little things, the way mm -hmm. you do the big things. If you're not having a process, if you don't have a process for greeting somebody, answering the phone, cleaning the toilets on a regular basis. Uh, Wiping down the gym. Not to mention tra the training of the clientele. I, I, I would imagine you probably have that one. I would hope. Come on. I would hope you would have the training of the clients portion down. But if you don't have any of that stuff, it's time to put it in place. You just bite the bullet and do it because once you do, you'll be wondering why the hell I didn't do that five years ago. Yeah. The peace of mind, the, the scalability, like what you focus on once all that stuff's handled is different. This is how you start to get to the next level of business. Yeah. Entire, like break you, it down. You look at, you look out there and it's just handled check mark handled it's done you you look around the gym you I, look guys I'm, I'm not here to say hey i'm better or worse than anybody else but i guarantee at the end of a training session i can walk out, out on that gym floor and everything's in right back in perfect place 100 percent. It, it's never not only times I, I would take that back only times it's not as if i come in on a weekend and we've had clients that don't have a trainer like our general access people leave stuff out okay they're not, and there's they and it's unstaffed yeah, it's unstaffed at that point. So they're coming in and, you know, tearing the gym up or leaving, yeah. leaving yeah. you know, weights on the bars and stuff. I've spent plenty of time putting yeah. stuff back on yeah. a weekend here. It is what it is. But yep. but in your operation, can can you go out there? Is it always chaos? Every day you get into your gym and you're like putting fires out every day and you're like, golly, why would you, why why doesn't anybody just do this? Why do I have to do this? And what you know what I it came up in the call today and the one of the biggest shifts. If, if anything else is going from reactionary to intentional, showing up for work with knowing that all of those things, all of the stuff that right now might seem chaotic and hectic, all of those things are just happening. But now today you walk in and you say, all right, I'm accomplishing this, 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 and this. You as, you know, the team is accomplishing this, 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 and this. At the end of the day, it goes back to like the Delta conversation, right? Mm -hmm. What what do we need to focus on? What are our, our goals? What are we doing to accomplish our goals? If you're showing up and you're going, okay, how do we wipe down the bathrooms today? Or somebody needs or, to do it. Well, that yeah. stuff needs to be figured out by now. Yeah. That's the thing. Get that stuff done so that you can focus on growth, intentional growth of the business. Yeah. It's a great, yeah, great point. So take a step back. Again, I, I always kind of give you guys this like little action item checklist. Yep. Go walk on the gym floor, step back and let and just look, give a scan. We'll look around. Is are this is the stuff put away? Are the are the clients being greeted correctly? Is the phone, you know, ringing or somebody answering it? The bathroom's clean, are there's trash taken out. Is there stuff all over the place? Um, you know, do you know that the marketing's happening and things are flowing and everything's done? And and if it's great and you're awesome, congratulations. Pat yourself on the back. You're you're the one percenter. Yeah. You know, one percenter. Uh, and if it's not, this is your opportunity to fix it. You just heard us talk about why and, and all the little things. And you have a decision to make right now. You're either going to get one percent better or you're going to get worse because nobody stays still. You're just getting worse because the guy down the street's getting better. So it puts you further behind. Go do the work. Nobody said this was going to be easy, and a lot of it isn't fun. But when you do have it done, it's, uh, it's hashtag handled then your life changes. Trust me, it changes. Everything's good, okay? Until next episode, guys, go do the work. Keep changing lives. We'll see you. Bye.